All right. So in the previous videos, we've talked about TradingView, so the software where we plan our trades, where we find and plan our winning trades. Mm -hmm. Now, the second part of this is setting up the software that will actually allow you to execute your trades. So by that, I mean the trades that you found in TradingView are going to be put in another software that we call MetaTrader. And uh, this is where, this is also the software that works with your broker, right? So, um, trading is, you, you can trade on your desktop, on your laptop, on your iPhone, Android phone, iPad. So there are many, many ways of doing this. Uh, what we recommend is starting on your laptop or desktop. It will be easier for you to learn. And then once you've once you understood how to do it on your desktop, you can slowly migrate to just doing it on your on yeah. your phone. The, the the thing is, you can start initially from your phone, but there will be there will be some typing of numbers, and it's just easier to do on your desktop when you need to understand where these numbers go and what they mean, and that's just easier to see on a laptop. But it is entirely possible to do it on your phone. It's just a bit more tedious in the beginning. Yeah, but it's all about like forming a habit. You know, once you do it ten times, it will be easier. Yes. Uh, with that said, what you need to do is below this uh, video, there's a link to download, and this is for IC markets uh, only. So for simple effects, we will be doing something else. But for IC markets, which, which is uh, most of you should be doing, uh, there's a link below which lets you download to Windows and lets you download to uh, to, to your Mac and let's start with that so you just choose whatever window whatever OS you have installed click that install MetaTrader after you install just let it stand still for about 10-15 minutes it needs to install some updates um, and I will show you a screenshot here it will show you that you need to restart your device and on Mac particularly it can be a little bit tricky you might have to restart your Mac something like two or three times and turn it on and off before it will work properly and this is just because that the Mac version it's kind of shitty, but it works. <laughs> so it's not meant to run on Mac, so they did a little bit of a hack to make it work, okay? So, that said, install MetaTrader, and then we'll show you how to log in with your demo account, okay? Now you have installed IC Markets, it will look something like this. Maybe there'll be some windows here, you can close them. I want it to look like this when you start. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to go to your IC Markets demo account you made. Then you go to uh, Platform Credentials, click here, and just take one of your demo accounts. I'm just gonna take this one. So I'm covering the account name. <clears throat> I'm going to MetaTrader. I right click and I click Login to Trade Account. And here I'm just gonna paste that login, and I'm gonna get that password and put it in below, also pasting it. And then it says IC Markets Demo. Okay, and if this one doesn't work, then try this one called IC Markets SC Demo. And this can be a little bit tricky during this, um, so just just keep keep at it. And if it doesn't work at all, just contact us or reach out to IC Markets support. So lock in, password, click OK, and it should uh, lock you in. And I al already been using this demo account a little bit, so that's already. A uh, couple of trades, trades. I'm just removing them. Okay. So guys, just just remind if you have any errors or if it's not loading for you, check the journal tab. Journal tab is the the last tab. Yeah. And yeah, basically, if there's any errors yeah. with the software, just check the journal. Take a screenshot of that, send it to us, or send it to IC Market Support Chat Support, and uh, you know we'll figure it out together and get you there. It it usually works after a little bit of time. So this is this is what MetaTrader looks like the first time. Maybe there will be a little bit, there will be at some tabs here, some different markets. You will be able to close those, so go ahead and do that. Now, there's a couple of things we need to configure, because if you look at my screen here, it will look a, li look a little bit different than yours. So what we need to do is we need to go up here, click properties down, uh, right click on the chart, click properties, and if, just let me just repeat that one more time. First. Um, drag something from this list over here called market watch 
take that, grab it like this, release, and then just make the window bigger. And then it should fill the entire screen. Okay. Now mine is looking a little bit different than yours, and that's because we need to do a bit of configuration. So first, you need to right click, go to properties, and you need to change it from bar to uh, candlesticks. Otherwise, it will look like that. We want it like this. Very good. Then you need to uh, enable chart shift down here. Okay. And everything else should look like this, which is the default settings. Click OK, click uh, right click one more time, and then go to, let me see if I can find it, grid, and disable this one. Okay, so it's off. Good. And this is actually, uh, that's actually like the majority of what we need to do. What we need to do next is save this configuration so every time we open MetaTrader, it will look the same. The way we do this is by going to templates, clicking save template, then you're gonna click you're gonna write default.tpl. Then you're gonna click save. And if the if a file already exists, you click replace. And if if it doesn't say anything, that's good. Okay, so save. Yes. Very good. Now there's only really one thing we need to do now, and that is go up to view. And then you need to look at toolbars and you need to enable time frames. Okay? Otherwise it'll look like this. And we need it to look like this. So we'll have the time frames available to us. Okay? And that's it. That is the MetaTrader setup. That's it? That's it. Alright guys, let's make some money.